Calvin Castein has thrown that around that Central School. Beautiful downtown Ellenberg Corners. It's the 13th day of February 2013, Ash Wednesday. And we are here at the start of Lent for the end of the basketball season. And the final game of the year for the Northern Adirondack Bobcats and their opponents, the Seton Catholic Knights. The officials are Chad Kaiser in the distance and Barry Norton with his back to the camera. It's going to be an offensive foul on number 42, Reset. We have the first foul of the game. We are about nine seconds into the game. Boy, that was a long nine seconds. Inbounded. And it will be brought up the floor by Cross, Daily Cross. The fountain over to Jutman. Let's see, we've got uh, King, Ethan King out there. And Darian Velasquez. There's a basket by Josh Jutman, and he makes it a 3-0 lead here for the home team. Bobcats with the full court pressure. This is a, a Bobcat team that I believe has been beaten only once in the CBAC, and that was about a week ago by the Peru Indians. So it's a very, very good Northern Adirondack team. Every green ball. Set five seconds to get it in. Finally gets the ball into Murray. Murray guarded by Cross. Gets it into the forecourt. And that's going to be a, a foul on Cross. Temperature just above freezing on this uh, mid February day. That's going to be a jump ball. And we're now a minute into it. Cross into the forecourt. Over to LaFountain. LaFountain. And the ball thrown up by Velasquez. This is Frenier. Let's see, you got Fang, 21, Murray, 12, Frenier, 30, 44 is a reset, and 42 is a set. Here's Cross, over the fountain, thrown up and off the rim by Jutman. King takes the shot. The Fountain, he it to Jutman, back to the Fountain. Falls off the rim, Velasquez tried to keep it alive. That reset will give the ball to Murray. Bobcats in the man-to-man -man defense. Knocked loose by Velasquez. Ball's pushed up forward to cross. <clears throat> he thought about taking a three-pointer, but thought better of it. Bounce pass can be off green. Pitchers and catchers reported to spring training yesterday, so it's also there's a basket by the sharp shooting Ethan King. Also an exciting day when uh, pitchers and catchers report. That means uh, spring is coming. Spring training has begun. The AD here, uh, Jeff Dory, will be very familiar with spring training. He was in the Expos minor league system for a year or two. And the basket by Jutnan. Jutnan off to a good start. <laughs> 4 
44 in the first. 7 nothing Bobcats. Senior night, so we'll be catching the Bobcat seniors. At the Northeastern seniors and the girls last night. With the Cougar senior boys a couple of weeks ago. They ended their homestand very early. Oops, is that zoom? I can't look away from the camera. Hey, Nate, Nate's got the uh, programs with him. Nate Bilo just showed up. He's got their programs all printed up. This is who we got here. 21. That's uh, Fang. First quarter. Well, we have a timeout. Jim Baker says, hey, I want to talk to the team here. All right, we're set over to uh, Frenier and put that in for the Frenier's I think and Cross stepped on the line Real three remaining Stay with Green. Come on, Green. <coughs> into Fang. Justin Gardner who saw his finger go out there. He knew uh, he was on the line. Gets it alive and gets it to Velasquez. And Velasquez off the glass and in for an 11 4 Bobcat advantage, 220. Showing in the first quarter. Fountain better decide which side he's going to go on. Reset and reset. And let's see, we got 15, Stephen Wark with the Bobcats and Osborne in for the Knights. Wark over to King. Ethan King. When he's got the range, he's got the range. Makes it 14 for so it's a two-pointer. Fang to a set. And 
There's Osborne. Uh, I think we're going to have a foul on Brandon Honan. I didn't see him come in, number 11. So we got Osborne at the line. Twenty-five seven Lazway in. One twenty-four on the game clock. Osborne makes that. It's now fourteen to five. The Fountain has just one speed, full speed ahead. King missed that one. Rebounded by Frenier. Bobcats with the ball. And King, nice look. Glad way too hard off the off the glass. And that was, who was that? Number 10, Osborne. There's number 10, LaFountain. Over to King. Well, Lajway went to Honan, and Honan is fouled. 33 seconds remaining in the period. 14-7 in favor of the Bobcats. Zalus, I didn't see him come in, number 50. And we're going to have a, a foul on Lajway. for work that was kind of a hard pass the set misses the putback and time's going to run out as Ethan King comes dribbling out with it 15-7 the Snapchats leading the Knights here on viewer supported hometown cable Set to inbound. Puts it over to Fang. Traveling. We're hoping Bill Chase will be here for the varsity, but it's Ash Wednesday, so he is not sure if he can make it. I know he's a church going man. And Whoops, nice steal by Fournier. That was Tang, 21. 15 to 9. 7.24 to go in the first half. Off the 
the rim on a shot by Warwick. Rebound by Reset. to Zalis. Joe Zalis. The Fang. All going back to Fang. Extended for Zalis. It's out of bounds. <coughs> We've got Murray, we've got Tang, number 40, and the reset back in. One of the resets back in. Boss will bring it up. Gutman. Across, drives, hits the bottom of the rim. That's rebounded by Tang. Murray up for Tang and stripped away by Jutnan. Jutnan sticks with it and the Knights get the rebound. And Murray just trying to dip it out and over the back on uh, Jutnan. Uh, Velasquez. And Cameron Giro coming in for NAC. And while they're at it, they're going to send LaFountain back in. The foul on Juttonen was his second. There's LaFountain. Foul is on 44 reset. His second. Team third. Bobcats have six. And that one will fall in. So it's 17 to 9. Ball into Murray. Tang puts it to the floor. Zalis misses. Rebounded by Lajway. Here's Cross. Got to get it back. Nice job there by. Velasquez Ross throws it in. And we're now at 19 to 9. And Jim Murray says timeout. 5.28 to go. His team is down by 10. We're in the first half. Into Murray. Double teamed. Finds Tang. Tang tries to lob it to Zalis. Velasquez comes up with it. The fountain hands off. Nice pass. <laughs> Cross with a attempt at a reverse. Here's Tang. Good job by Tang to protect the ball and lay it in. 19-11. Seton Catholic staying within striking distance. Rebound Zalis. There's Osborne. To Murray. Murray stayed away, pulled down by Cross. The Fountain. And a running shot. By Lajway. Literally a running shot. 21 11, 10 point lead now. Bobcats. Short. And that'll 
Smith and uh, Davis to the line. And we got waiting for it to get on the scoreboard with the foul is on. He's shooting two. Takes the first. Foul was on Lajway, his second team the seventh. And with that, uh, James Minkler comes in. And Zalus makes it 21-12. Let's see, I think everybody's been on the floor. For the Bobcats. Nice rejection there. And we got King back in for NAC. The Fountain. Left-hander is good. And that puts it back to 10 points. 23-13, 3-46. Showing in the second quarter. Tang for the outside shot. Board cleared by King in the fountain. Ball falls short. The fountain tries to get the defense in the air. He does. Azalis recoups and he's called for a foul. That's his second, team fourth. So Corey LaFountain will have two opportunities at the charity strike. Reset in for Reset. And Fang in. Replace Osborne. And now we've got uh, Fenya in. And he's going to replace Tang. That is missed. Zalis gets the rebound, 321 to go in the second quarter. Catholic with the ball. This is Murray. Well, Frenier to Zalis. Go Zalis with the bucket. Catch Russia down the floor. 23-15. Short jumper by Giro, Cameron Giro. Stolen by King. And Velasquez with a nice job to finesse that ball in. Back to 10 points, 25-15, 2, 38 showing second quarter. There's Fang. Fang drives. Kind of twisted his, his uh, shooting hand there just as he got near the basket. Ended up Missing it, here's Murray. Lob to Zalus, and Zalus. King. Ethan King with the tray. Jim Baker says, hey. We got to stop that ball. 28 17, 11 point Bobcat lead. 2 12 on the game clock. Gold ball. Fountain. No inbound. Ball was intended for Minkler. Green ball. Cats will press. Set grabs it. Just barely stays in bounds. 
Murray. Moves it to the floor. And it's 10 seconds. Actually, it was 12 seconds, but uh, everybody will count a little different if they were counting 10, so you can't fault anybody there. Ten second violation in the backcourt. Fountain. Slides it over to Jiro. No ball. King will inbound it. 11 on the shot clock. Lobbed into the fountain. And blocked by Zalus. Bang brings it up. And he is fouled. That is Foul number foul number two on on King. 108 left in the half. What do we got? What do we got? 15, 25, 11, 11. Conan, 15. Warwick, 25. Lajway. And about on the uh, night side, it's Osborne. Work by seconds. No timeout. So Justin Gardner avoids the turnover with the timeout. One minute to go in the half. little fellow desperately wants to be on TV, but uh, we're not going to do it when he's waving his arms. <laughs> Level dribble. Fifty-five to go in a second. Bang. Bounce pass to reset. Bang out to Murray, to Osborne, to Zalis, and the Cats knock it out of bounds. Good turnout, but uh, the bleachers once again are not opened up, so I'm assuming that they are in uh, some kind of uh, disarray. Or set, shoot another one. 23 seconds to go in the second quarter. Bang with the rebound, and he draws a foul. Who's that foul on? 31, then close, second. It only took a second. One, 22 seconds now. It was 23. <laughs> Traveling will be the call. Conan had the rebound, but couldn't keep his footing. Oh, 
it's a nine point game and Knights can try to take some more off that lead. Taken away, Honan. Flipped up. Whoop. Now Giro took that shot a little early. If you're the catch, you want to have the last shot. You don't want to give the Knights a chance to bring that ball down to this end. Two seconds. The period is winding down. You want to get that last shot so you uh, don't shoot with the 12 seconds on the clock. You know, wind it down and uh, take a shot closer about six or seven or eight seconds and give your team a chance to get a rebound. As soon as Ellie Work learns how to run that clock, it'll be halftime, 28-19. Bobcats at the half. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hometown Cable. Second half action here in beautiful downtown Ellenburg Corners. The Northern Adirondack JV basketball team playing against Seton Catholic Knights. And Velasquez picks up the rebound, goes back up, and can't convert. NAC started off the half with possession. This is Wild Bill Chase with Calvin Castein stepping in here at half. It's senior night over here at NAC, Wednesday, February 13th. Ash Wednesday, Ash Wednesday for all you good Catholics out there. The score is 28 to 19. That's right, number 21 traveling. That's a Fang out there for Seton. We got 21 is Fang. Number 12 is Murray. Yep. Yeah. 42 is uh, Reset. One of the resets. There's two resets. Shot put up by 10. That's the Fountain. Nails the three-pointer. Holds the score up to 31, well, as soon as they change it, 31-19. Juttonen attempting to steal. Number 30 with the ball, Frenier. Frenier maintains possession. Goes inside to 44, uh, that's the one of the other reset. And a foul is called. The officials out there, Chad Kaiser and Barry Norton. I'm sure Calvin already told you that in the first half uh, part of the game. Ball is gonna be inbounded by Ethan King. Gives it to Mr. Cross. Cross, a left-hander, number 22. Goes over to the fountain, down back on top. They swing it over to King. Three-pointer, and he hits it. So Bobcats come out a little hot from the three-point range here in its second half. Velasquez with the steal. Cross kicks it back out. Shot. Another three-point attempt. Doesn't go. That was Frenier. Had the ball for a second, put it up, and rimmed out. NAC's got a 15 point lead, 34 to 19. JV basketball action here on Hometown Cable, your ultimate high school sports network in Clinton County. Pass inside from Jutton into Velasquez. I think that's a travel. Yeah, he's jumping around out there. Jiro with the ball for Seaton. Finds was reset. Reset goes the other reset. They try to go to Frenier. Frenier's shot's a little short. Juttonen got a hand on it. Should be Seaton ball. Goes out of bounds. 5.58 on the clock. February 13th, it was sort of a warm night. Warmer than it has been. About 30 degrees outside. Parking lot's a mess to walk through. Frenier's shot goes up. And the official saying to hit the top of the backboard, so it's out of bounds. And AC will get possession. Ethan King inbound in the cross. Cross slowly steps across midcourt and actually loses the ball out of bounds. Justin Gardner, the head coach for the JV basketball team, puts the ball back in play. Reset to Frenier. Looks like he traveled there. Bang. Go down inside. Try to go inside to Frenier. Ball's knocked out of bounds. NAT, nope, it's Seton Catholics. Yeah. 
King steps in front of that pass. Dishes to Cross. Cross from behind the back. Get a little too fancy there. He turns it back over and that was Fang going all the way and laying it up and in for Seaton. Makes it a 31-4-21 ball game. Senior night for varsity cheerleaders and varsity basketball players. Fang again driving to the hoop. Made a nice move there. Just can't complete the layup. Nice pass from Velasquez to cross. He lays it up in. And we got a timeout called so Seton Catholic ball player can tie his shoe. Some, time both. Uh, that's something I just learned how to do. <laughs> Tie my shoes. Thank God for golf. Oh, yeah. Well, now I'm retired, you know, I got the time to do that. I got to tell you what I've been doing during my retirement. I've been backing my vehicles into a wall. I backed my own car into Robin's car. <laughs> <laughs> That's I've done that in the last uh, about last month. I did those two things: the truck into the porch wall, and then my car into Robin's car. Hope you were outside and you're back into the porch wall. Yeah. Wasn't from the inside. Right? Yeah, I was outside. Up to Cross. Cross lays it up. Little, gets his own rebound. Loses it. Jutting it down on the floor. They're called travel. On Juttonen, I guess. Who's this? Number 42. We're set. We'll end down the ball. Substitution for NAC. Number 11 coming in. He replaces Cross. That's Honan. Number 10 with the ball. That's uh, Osborne. Osborne on top of the key. Sends it over to Murray. Murray gives it a reset. Velasquez in good position for the rebound. Pulls it down. Hands it to Mr. King. Oh, that's LaFountain, excuse me. That's King taking the shot. A scoop layup there by uh, Osborne. Does it go? Velasquez now with the ball. This is the Juttonen. His shot's a little short. King came down with a rebound. The putback doesn't go. Scores remains 38-21. Bobcats up by 17. Fang gives to Murray. Murray shot short. Rebound pulled down by Frenier. I mean, we're set. Ball scoots out there. It should be NAC ball, and it is. The Fountain picking up the ball. Warwick coming in. He'll replace Juttonen. Number 50 coming in for Zealous. Zealous. I've got to read Calvin's handwriting. I thought mine was bad. <laughs> Just because mine's bad doesn't mean yours is, is bad. Oh, mine is bad. I think mine's worse than yours, actually. <laughs> You know who's got my handwriting? My daughter Amanda. Hers is horrible too. <laughs> Seaton there, a little short in a lot of their shots. Number 50, Zalus. Zealous. Is it Zealous or Zalus? Huh? Zalus, just like Zares. Remember Zares? Oh yeah, Zares. Grand Wayne, Zares. Now there used to be what? Now there, is there anything there anymore? A whole bunch of stuff. Warwick gets it up to LaFountain. LaFountain fakes, drives, finishes the drive. Makes it a 40 to 21 ball game. 228 here in the third quarter. Second half action, a hometown cable. JV basketball action. Once again, we're at NAC High School. Stepping in front of that, number 11, uh, Honan. Lays it up and in. Nice play there by Mr. Honan. Go 
Murray with the ball. Being watched by LaFountain. Murray calling out high low. Honan in front of uh, Osborne. Almost with another steal. Here comes number 25 for the Bobcats. That's Evan Lajway. He replaces Velasquez. But King and LaFountain for the starters here for the second half for NAC, the only ones left out there. Mr. Gardner has gone to the bench, brought out Warwick, Lajway, and uh, Honan. That shot, a little short. LaFountain got two players on him. Drives to the hoop. It's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Makes the first one of two. Scores 43-21. 1.40 left on the clock here in the third quarter. Second one. Comes up short. Rebound pulled down by Zalis. Outlets to Osborne. Osborne steps over to... Oh, we're, 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 we're in the boys game. There's a timeline now. Girls. Timeline, yeah, the girls, there's no timeline. Yeah, still over. Well, that's a turnover. Mr. King takes a seat on the bench. Now in for the Bobcats, Jero, number 12, with the ball, swings it to the fountain. Fountain, watched by uh, Osborne. On the baseline. Drive over, pass to, uh, that was Lajway. Lajway puts it up and in, makes it a 45-21 ball game, 117 on the clock. He was fouled, he'll shoot one foul shot. the action I just want to let everybody know out there watching hometown cable and on Friday night here at uh, NAC the FFA is putting on a fundraiser for a woman with cancer and her son has cancer it's a spaghetti dinner running from 4:30, I think to 8 o'clock at night so if you're watching this on the web in the next day or two try to come out and support that cause they're having a Chinese auction here also put on by the FFA Okay, we got Mr. Osborne on the line for Seton Catholic. Osborne sinks the first one, makes it a 43-22 ball game. 28-19 at halftime was the score. Apparently, Bobcats are up by 19 points. 43, well, 20 points, 43-23. Lajway shot. Nice pass to Honan. Honan taking it to the hoop. Comes up a little short. Loose ball picked up by NAC. They kick it back out to LaFountain. LaFountain goes inside. That's for uh, Lajway. He can't convert. Double dribble called. And Seton Catholic, Tang, turns the ball over. 41 seconds here in the third quarter. NAC with a 20 point lead. Fountain. Moving to his left. Swings the ball over to Lajway. Goes down low to Jero. Kick it back out to Lajway. The pick set by Warwick. On the pick and roll, was that? <laughs> but the ball stolen away. Osborne. Can't get the friendly roll, they can drop in there. He's fouled, taking the ball to the hoop. 17 seconds on the clock, he goes to the line to shoot two. Oh, 
There, get a shot of those shoes, Calvin. And there. Mm, what are they? Is that orange? Neon orange sneakers. Osborne makes one of two. Makes it a 43-24 ball game. The waning seconds of the third quarter here. Gerald tries to drive to his left. Tries to go down into the side to Honan. Knocked out of bounds there by Zalus. Seven seconds on the clock. NAC retains possession. Oh, what a play there by LaFountain. Off the bank of Zalus. But he can't score. Lord puts up the final shot in the quarter. Doesn't go. So after three complete quarters here, hometown cable JV basketball action. Northern Adirondack 43, Seton Catholic 24. Bobcats, possession arrow in their favor. Start off the fourth quarter with the ball. Cross, Honan, Warwick, Jero, and uh, new guy, James Minkler. Number 31 in there for the Bobcats. Go down low on Honan. Honan moves around. The seat and defender, nice play there, but he can't convert. Honan working hard underneath. Gets fouled, I believe he'll go to the line to shoot two. Seaton counters with uh, number 50, Zalus. We've got number 51, Thomas. Osborne and Murray. And number 40, Osborne's number 10, Murray's number 12, and Tang, number 40, come out for Seaton here to start off the fourth quarter. Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Castein here. Hometown Cable High School basketball action. This is a JV game. And we're going to hang around and do the varsity game too. Since we're here already. All right, the same two schools are playing, right? Yeah, <laughs> <Pretty> sure. <laughs> yeah, while we're here, we'll hang around due to varsity game. Senior night, once again, let everybody know that. Oh, Juttonen in the game. I didn't think he was. I thought we replaced him. The Seton fans saying they need some threes and then some. Let's see, they get eight threes, uh, they'd be up by two. <laughs> My math is good. Eight times three is 24. Three eights would do it too. Three eights too, yeah. Okay, Galvin. Honan, it's replaced by Velasquez. So we've got Juttonen, Velasquez, Cross, Jero, and Minkler out there. On the line, Mr. Zalis. Converts that one. Sub coming in. Reset coming in for uh, Zalis. And they just sent the other four are also new. So all five are seating, all new. Oh, we got all new players. Okay, we got new players for seating out there. Frenier's back out there. Both resets. Number 22 is. Knock, what is it? Knock Bauer? Knock Bauer. And Mr. Fang returns. There's numbers. Frenier. Frenier, yeah. Mentioned Frenier already. So we've got two resets Frenier, Knock Bauer, and Fang. Fang wants to tie his shoe. Official isn't paying attention. The shoe is undyed. Here's the ball to Reset. Reset guarded by Velasquez. Swings it over to Frenier. Frenier over to Reset. Thought about the three pointer. Decided not to. And the shot clock sounds. So it's a turnover. King coming back in for Jero. Most of the NAC starters back on the floor, all except Mr. LaFountain. 
Jutton. Swings it to Cross. Cross. Three point attempt. Doesn't go. Velasquez has had a hand on it. Loose ball ended up in the hands of King. Swings it back out top. To Cross. Cross gives it to Jutton. His three pointer can't go. Rebound pulled it down by Reset. Reset to Reset to Fang. Knockbauer with the ball now. He goes inside. Zeaton moving the ball around. And they see, keeping him on the outside here. Steal attempt by Cross, doesn't go. King had a steal, but the official got in the way. <laughs> Fang makes a nice move, drives to the hoop. Gets some contact, draws the foul. Who we'll goes the line with 542 left in the ball game here? 46-25, Bobcats on top. We're inside the newly re renovated uh, NAC High School now. That fancy entrance you come into. Got the new gym put in. They did something to the pool, locker rooms. They did some work on classrooms. Bang, sinks the second one, makes it 46-26. Cross, going inside. That was a dangerous pass. Juttonen, his is short, three-point attempt. Osborne driving to the hoop, moves around two NAC defenders, can't convert. Gets his own rebound and does make that one. I said Frenier, didn't I? Oh, sorry. Frenier, Osborne. King, his comes up a little short. Jutton in there to pick up the, the rebound, puts it back up. NAC has the 20 point lead again. Down under five minutes left in the fourth quarter. JV basketball action here on Hometown Cable. Knock Bauer with the ball. Reset looking for the other reset. He wasn't open. They get it to him. Now it's Frenier. The uh, shot clock, Frenier drives to the hoop, gets his own rebound, puts it up for the third time. Juttonen, no, no, that wasn't Juttonen, that was uh, Minkler pulling down the defensive rebound. Juttonen now with the ball to Cross. Cross thought about the three pointer. Swings over here to the left side, pulls up, sinks a 10 footer, makes it a 50 28 ball game. Ball's turned over, NAC. And five new players coming in for both teams. Yep. Oh, great. Yep, we got Warwick, Honan, LaFountain, Jarrell, and Lajway returning for the Bobcats. We got Zalis, I think it's Tang, Thomas, and then we got Osborne and Murray returning for Seton. Inside to Honan, Honan. Surrounded by Seaton defenders, put it up, but doesn't convert. Murray now with the ball. Murray watched by LaFountain. That's Tang. Tang. Can't get it to go. LaFountain looking behind him. Warwick puts up the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Osborne. Osborne. Moving down the left side. Tang used his size advantage to back in work the last time. Again, using his size. This time he converts. Nice work there by Tang. 50 to 30. Three minutes left in this contest. Gerald shot a little bit off the mark. Gerald coming down with a rebound. It was Lajway that took that last shot. Warwick driving left-handed off the side of the rim. Lajway picks up the loose ball. 
Puts the ball up, scores, 52 to 30, 241 on the clock. Pointer by Zalis. Nice shot there by Mr. Zalis. Warwick with the ball. Nice pass to the fountain. The fountain using his speed on the big guy. Can convert. Look good. Tang maintains possession. Pulls up at the foul line. Just off the mark. Zalis comes up with a rebound. Lashway with good position. Able to pull down that rebound. Pass inside to Honan, Honan. That doesn't come up, working hard underneath and Mr. Work. He saves it, but oh, now he steals it away. He drives around uh, Zalis and kisses it off the glass. Who's that guy in CBS Sports or ESPN? And the kiss, it's an announcer. I can't think of his name. I never watched that stuff. You don't watch basketball? <laughs> oh, you just watch Hometown Cable, Calvin? I get all the basketball I want. Right? <laughs> well, we're going up and down the court here. The last minute we get this contest. Zalus. Boom. <laughs> he muscles his way through the crowd. Puts it up and in. That is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot one. 56, 35, 103 on the clock. He just fouled out. 25. 25. Evan Lajway fouling out. Five team fouls on the Bobcats, four on Seton Catholic. Completes the three-point play. You know, if you fell out in the last game of the season, you can't play again the next year. Oh, right. you're okay, Calvin. <laughs> oh, there was some contact there. Gerald putting up a three-pointer, but officials letting him play here in this game. Zalis saving that ball from going out of bounds. The official says he stepped on the, the line. He's out of bounds. Not sure. Wasn't paying attention. But that's why they pay them guys. The fountain to work. Gerald puts the ball down. He goes to his left. Shoots. Comes up a little short. It's 20 point lead. 56-36. 20 seconds and counting left in this contest. Osborne shots off the mark. Honan, he's been working hard here in the second half. Pulls down the rebound. The Fountain, gonna let the time run out. Without taking a shot. That's a nice heads, heads up sportsmanship play there by the Fountain. The final score here at this JV basketball game on Hometown Cable, 56-36. The Bobcats prevailing over the Knights of Seton. Well, Bill Chase and Calvin Castine telling everybody to drive safely on the roads and uh, spring's just around the corner. Have a good night.